REBOA stands for Resuscitative Endovascular Balloon Occlusion of the Aorta. REBOA is a minimally invasive procedure used in trauma care to control non-compressible hemorrhage. It has gained popularity due to its potential to improve patient outcomes in life-threatening situations. This lecture aims to provide medical professionals with a thorough understanding of REBOA, its procedure, clinical applications, and future directions. Indications and Contraindications REBOA is a technique that involves the insertion of a balloon catheter into the aorta to temporarily occlude blood flow. It was first described in the 1950s and has since evolved with advancements in endovascular technology. Indications for REBOA include severe pelvic or abdominal trauma, non-compressible junctional hemorrhage, and cardiac arrest with suspected hypovolemia. Contraindications include aortic dissection, severe atherosclerosis, and known pregnancy. Procedure and Equipment of REBOA The procedure involves gaining femoral artery access, inserting a guide wire, and advancing a balloon catheter to the desired aortic zone. The balloon is then inflated to occlude blood flow. The balloon can be deflated and repositioned as needed. After the procedure, the balloon catheter is removed and the femoral artery is closed. Complications of REBOA Potential complications of REBOA include vascular injury, distal embolization, and balloon rupture. These complications can be managed with appropriate endovascular techniques. For example, vascular injury can be managed with stent grafts or coil embolization, and distal embolization can be managed with thrombectomy or aspiration. Aortic Zones for REBOA Placement The aorta is divided into three zones for REBOA placement. Zone 1 extends from the left subclavian artery to the level of the celiac artery ostium. Zone 2 extends from the celiac trunk to the most caudal renal artery. And Zone 3 extends from the most caudal renal artery to the aortic bifurcation. These zones are crucial for determining the appropriate placement of the REBOA catheter during trauma care to control hemorrhage. Clinical Applications of REBOA REBOA has been shown to be effective in controlling hemorrhage in various types of trauma, including pelvic and abdominal injuries. It can be used as a bridge to definitive surgical intervention or as a definitive treatment for junctional hemorrhage. Compared to open aortic cross-clamping, REBOA has been associated with lower rates of complications and improved patient outcomes. Future Directions and Innovations Ongoing research is focused on refining REBOA techniques, developing new devices, and exploring its potential applications in non-trauma settings. Emerging trends include the use of smaller profile catheters, remote monitoring systems, and integration with other resuscitation modalities. Potential areas for improvement include the development of more user-friendly devices, improved training programs, and better patient selection criteria. Take-home message In conclusion, REBOA is a crucial resuscitation technique that has revolutionized trauma care. REBOA is a valuable tool in the management of severe trauma, offering the potential to improve patient outcomes and reduce morbidity and mortality. Medical professionals should stay updated on REBOA practices and consider incorporating it into trauma care protocols. As with any advanced resuscitation technique, appropriate training and experience are essential for successful implementation. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.